another solid win, another Thank top you. five win. Uh, how, how do you think you played today? Um, yeah, I think I played obviously a great match because uh, you don't beat uh, a top five players, uh, top five players just like that. And uh, um, I felt the conditions were uh, extremely difficult for both of us. I could feel that, uh, I mean, I don't know, in, in Fahrenheit, but 36 degrees, I think, uh, that was pretty solid for playing tennis. And, uh, and uh, I mean, you know, we always had uh, very tough battles. Um, I was actually head-to-head to, head to one. That's not very often against a top five player. And, uh, I mean, at the change of hands, when I saw, like, two, one, 30 minutes, almost, I was like, great. <laughs> This is gonna last forever again, and uh, uh, I think that match was um, a big win for me on the physical part, like fitness part. I think uh, I could see that uh, you know the effort she she gave me was like because I was forcing her to to give it to me because uh, I was there solid and hanging in there and putting sometimes balls back and being being brave. And I think yeah, I think. Uh, you know, I perfectly uh, uh, played uh, the game plan I had, you know, like uh, solid at times, make her play balls and taking, making her take some risk at the time. And sometimes when I had the shorter one, like uh, stepping in it, uh, playing uh, my heavy shots with the forehand. And uh, I think that worked pretty well today. Yeah, off season, uh, definitely. Obviously, I mean, uh, not many changes in my off season, but just like work, work, work. You know, like kind of feeling it's paying off. And even today, I mean, in the past, I've been struggling. Let's say th that kind of match is ex example. Uh, tough conditions, tough opponent, uh, long rally sometimes, and. I came out being the winner of that point, or sometimes I would be like pulled high wide, and uh, I would come back strong or hit a winner out of it. And before was wasn't the case. And uh, yeah, like what I've been saying in my uh, interviews lately, I just think uh, is the consistent of every like of my shots a little bit more like service better, a little bit more consistent, better percentage, uh, second serve more risky at a time, like faster and uh, forehand obviously my big weapon uh, always there and uh, the backhand I think is uh, has improved a lot, like it's way more solid even today I could uh, rally sometimes with Simona who has a, a very good backhand and and yeah I'm, I'm just very happy that it's it's you know paying off and in a shape right now. Kiki, you've been really strong with doubles in recent years, and I wondered if you could talk a little bit about the way in which doubles, particularly with the attacking Sorry, aspects. Do you have a towel? Like, I'm sweating. Uh, <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. The way in which doubles, particularly with the attacking aspects of your game, has been helpful towards your singles. Uh, the question, if my doubles, like... What, it's what been helpful. Helpful? Your singles game in a way. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, for sure it is, for sure it was. Uh, there is no doubt about it, uh, for my opinion. Um, you know, even like yesterday, uh, I had a day off, and I was just so happy, and we were both actually so happy and pumped with Svetlana to go there. I was like... Me, I'm pumped, like I'm very happy to play with her because our first match was so great and I was like so ready to go there and I was like, <clears throat> she played three sets and conditions were like similar to today. I was like, I, I was wondering if she would be okay and uh, when I met her, I mean, I mean, she was flying, she was so happy uh, to go back there with me and, uh, and that was so funny because she was actually talking to herself out loud in front of me and she was like, Okay, calm down, Svetlana. I mean, uh, very happy to play, but you know, sometimes when you want too much, then you just totally burn out and play bad. So I was like, I was so happy to see her. I mean, thank you. Sorry, <laughs> I'm sweating so much. Um, 
she's such an experienced player and already has lots of matches behind her. And uh, to, to see that spirit uh, was just so great. And uh, I was very happy to go out there on the court with her. And, uh, and we played great and we had a very good win. And uh, at the end of the match, you know, I came out of the court and I said to my team, uh, look, I'm, I'm so happy, like, you know, confidence is there. Uh, at the moment in singles, but uh, to have such a great win and to, to have played some uh, great shots, uh, to have served well under pressure, um, like I served at 4-5 under pressure, I, I did a great game, good serving, uh, good shots at the time, and 5 all, and then we ended up winning that match, and I came out of the court, I said, okay, like confidence is there with my singles wins, but um, a win like that also in doubles puts, you know, even a little bit more of confidence and like you, you get like uh, confidence, like you're more sure about your strokes working. And I, I would have gone uh, on a practice score and just practice my drills. That would be like, okay, routine practice. But to, to get a win like that and like fun on the court helps a lot. So that, that's for sure. I think you still don't have a coach. No. Do you almost prefer not to have a coach? I think it's going quite well without a coach. Just talk about some of the things you have to do for yourself that help you when you don't have a coach. Um, uh, what can I say? Um, I just think I'm the best coach for myself so far, for now. And without a coach, I think it's working really well for me at the moment. So um, I think I know myself the best. I think I know um, how, what things and what I have to work. And I have a big team around me still. You know, uh, my fitness coach is there, my hitting party is there, my physio is there, my mom is there, family is there. And just tennis coach, I think, uh, I don't know. I just know it better for myself, and I feel better like that. And uh, I mean, this is like uh, a big decision. I think everybody has around a tennis coach, but uh, I ask actually too much of a tennis coach, and I prefer to. I mean, it didn't work out uh, in the past years. Uh, I always had the best results being alone, so that's. Lots of coincidence, and uh, I just decided like that I won't have a tennis coach for for some time and see how it goes and how I can perform alone and uh, you know like hold my career alone and uh, in what I believe and well look uh, 2015 I was alone the entire year and uh, and I end up being. Uh, I think in the top 30, and uh, so far this year is going really well. So um, yeah, I'm gonna stick like that. Stay like that. Kiki, uh, Maria Sharapova is returning to the tour <coughs> in Stuttgart and um, with a wild card. And then there's been a lot of discussion about whether or not she might get a wild card to the French Open. I just wanted to, because there's been so much discussion, I wanted to ask you for your thoughts on. Um, I have no comments for that. Yeah, I don't want to comment anything about Maria.